What's up? Welcome back to Mina's Daily Dose. My name is Mina and thank you for joining me today. If you are new here, thank you for clicking on this video. And if you are already part of the fam, hello, how are you? Thank you for your continued support. As the title states, today I'm going to be showing you guys my whole house fall decor. There are some rooms in my home that I am not decorating because they already have set themes and also because they may not be decorated at all so what's the point well i am going to be in a way narrating this but i don't want to hold you guys any longer let's go ahead and roll some b-roll video will be featuring things that I bought from the Dollar Tree, the thrift store, Kirkland's, and Pier 1. When I show you some of these decor items and tell you the cost, you are going to be shocked and wowed. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the front door befores. Here is what the front door decor was before we switched it to fall and you know something simple just a small little reef and here's what it looks like after and we are going to start with the top of the door so both of these items were purchased at the thrift store and these two pumpkins right here i definitely love i love the iron detail on there and they're also heavy and it's windy up here so i definitely needed decor that was heavy outdoors love the iron decor on it and the colors are so perfect for fall so let's go ahead and go into the foyer area you know I've showed this area plenty of times in my cleaning videos but here I'm just transitioning some of the pieces out and putting some pumpkins and everything here I did purchase from the thrift store. And I just wanted to jump in really quickly to say that one big thing about my home is I like for my decor pieces to be transitional throughout all of the season. So during a lot of this decorating, you will see that some pieces are actually going to stay and some are going to be taken away. But overall, my decor is very transitional from the decor items to the tones to just really everything. So I just wanted to jump in to say that just in case you guys, you know, are wondering why I'm not taking all of the pieces away. Call me back. And I really did love this pumpkin because it was so rustic and just having that natural texture to it with those colors really did bring a fall vibe. And then as you see, I love the tree trunk because that is the rustic vibe that that area gives with the horns. And then I also found this acorn, which is made out of branches. And I thought that was such a unique touch to bring to this space. And you see the football there, I'm going to move it, but this is the finished look. I kept my welcome sign. It is a little bit more springy, but it has that rustic feel to it. And I just really love how this turned out. It's super simple and it's definitely fall. Now we're gonna move on to the kitchen and I am going to be taking one of my sweets jars, cookie jars per se, out of the way and I'm going to be switching it with this glass pumpkin that I found at the thrift store. And you guys, you will see that pumpkins is really my main decor piece when it comes to fall. I love pumpkins and I feel like it's the most simplest statement to make for fall decor. Honestly, I'm not big on the leaves and things like that, but implementing these pumpkins throughout the house was the perfect touch. Here, over the sink, 
I actually added a piece that I did a DIY on and I will be uploading a video on this but I wanted to bring something a little bit rustic and also some height to the kitchen and I thought the yellow was such a perfect touch and it's not brown it's not orange but it is still one of those fall tones that we do see how you know transitioning from summer to fall and this right here I also DIY'd and I just wanted to add something at the base of this marble candle holder right here just to add a little bit more rusticness and a little bit more of neutral tones to the kitchen and you'll see these dead flowers I did not want to throw them away they were actually from my graduation and I love dead flowers because it gives such a rustic vibe and something else that I like to implement in my kitchen during the fall is rustic food items so you see here that I have this little marble tray which is real marble that I picked up from the thrift store you'll see me move the items on this marble tray to another location and I'll talk a little bit more about it but I did want to keep some color in the kitchen so the greenery that I had on the counter and I wasted between the microwave and the stove it just added that element of surprise and then as you see I am taking that marble tray and I'm putting it over to the edge of the kitchen and on here is some rustic organic ground peanut butter and a coconut syrup that I actually got from one of from one of our local farmer market stores and I just like it because it adds such a rustic element to fall. You're going to have Thanksgiving coming up and it's all about hominess and comfort. And I don't think anything is more cozy and homey than having some rustic food items out on display. But yeah, I just love how this space turned out and it's super duper rustic. And I did add a little pumpkin up there on the top of the stove, which is just super rustic and super cute. And I'm actually going to insert a picture right here. And it's this cute little owl owl that's dangling over the edge of the stove. And it is so cute. And I actually picked that up from the Dollar Tree. And I usually never show you guys the top of our kitchen cabinets, but that's what it is if you guys like that so now it's time to move on to the living room and oh my goodness the living room is probably my favorite part of the house this couch which is so plush i mean it was a custom couch that we got and i love the color because once again the color it's just so transformative when it comes to the different seasons i love the texture of the fabric i love the plushness of the cushions and overall it is a great couch and it's absolutely huge i've been looking forward to fall because i've been wanting to implement this one color and it's these pillows right here i purchased these from pier one now this was my first time going into pier one and this is where a lot of my bargains come in of course when you go to the thrift store and when you go to dollar tree you're obviously getting great deals but when you go to places that are a little bit more high-end where you usually don't have deals and you have to pay full price honey getting a deal there is top of the line and it just is so satisfying and these pillows right here were regularly $39.99 and at pier one if you buy a pillow you get a second pillow half off and they was also having an extra 20 percent so i got both of these pillows you guys for 42 bucks now tell me that that is not a deal it's pretty much buy one and get one free okay the color was what i was looking for and it still had that rustic feel to it i wanted to keep that and it's just so beautiful now these pillows right here i love how they match with the Pier One pillow so well. And that was intentional but unintentional. I went into Kirkland's and I saw these and I was like, oh my goodness, I have to get these. I got these pillows for an even better deal, you guys. So each pillow came out to be in 13 bucks a piece. These pillows were regularly $24.99 a piece. So still, that buy one, get one free situation, I loved it. And I'm just adding my other pillows here. And so now we're gonna move on to the coffee table. And honey, this right here, 
I was so excited when I found it because it's bringing me a little bit more of green and orange and just a combination of different fall colors. It gives me some pumpkin in there. It's giving me a little bit of that cotton. And this was a great find at the thrift store. And this I believe was about $3.99. And I already had these candles, so putting them on top of there, it fit absolutely perfect. And I have my coasters, which are marble. They're really nice coasters. And one of my great friends for giving me these for a wedding gift, but I wanted to keep those on the table. And they fit really well into the little candle holder area. So I just split those up and put them on each side. Added a couple of more pine cones in there, um, just because I had them just from past purchases. Do a little bit of cleaning while I was doing this because this TV I did not dust it and have not dusted in a while and it was bothering me so you guys are gonna get a little clean with me in here so once I'm done with this I'll go ahead and jump back in So now that I'm done cleaning, I'm adding my three little children back up here on the TV. And I actually took these from my house back in Florida, my mom's home. And they're so cute. I mean, they're just so sweet and cute and I love them. And I'm just going to work on this shelf right here. This four bottle decor piece situation was sitting on our table, on our coffee table, if you remember. And so I decided to put it down here just to add like a little bit more depth to this and to bring something else into that space and then I'm just cleaning up and tidying up my husband's game consoles here and just making everything look nice and you know put together and then this little table over here you guys I usually don't do much over here, but I wanted to give it some more attention. So I went ahead and cleaned it off. And this three layered animal statue here, you see, I actually picked up from the thrift store and it's an elephant, a zebra, and a giraffe. And I just love that element. And I love how it just brought so much life to this little glass table that is neglected. And I don't really think I mentioned it, but my overall theme, it is farmhouse chic rustic but it also has that element of um, African culture and vibe to it. And you guys, this pillow right here, I just want to hop in and talk about this pillow a little bit. I actually found this pillow at a thrift store and I wasn't sure if I wanted to add it on the couch. I threw it on there because it's, it brought that vibe that I just love, that indigenous vibe. I really do love the way it fits so well into the color scheme and just the overall vibe of our home. So I just really do love that that pillow. And I just love how everything just matches and fits together well. The patterns, the texture, and this little pumpkin you guys I added is so cute, but I just love our living room. It's so cozy and it just brings such good vibes, you know? Oh, 
Now we're gonna head in to our bedroom, which was so easy. And like I mentioned, I like for my pieces in my home to be not only transitional, but I like for them to be able to be transferred into different areas of the home. So some of the pillows that were on the couch, I'm actually going to be putting them in on our bedscape. And so here I'm just tidying up the bed, making it look all good for the video. And I mention this all the time, you guys, I like making up the bed only for it to look really beautiful and aesthetically pleasing. So I'm just tidying up the bed right here, getting together for the new fall decor and pillows. So here I'm adding this pillow right here, which I purchased a while ago. And it's just the texture, the feel, the comfort is so nice. And then these two pillows right here, I pulled out of the living room. So pulling a little bit more gold tone into the bed. And then this pillow I purchased from JCPenney's and got it on sale for like 10 bucks. Um, adding another pillow there with a little bit more texture and then this throw was actually in the living room so just about adding more coziness and deeper tones in the room was really what i wanted to do so i want to thank you guys for joining me today and i hope you guys really enjoyed my fall decor video and if you are new here i hope you hit that subscribe button and join the mdb family and if you join me today and you are already part of the fam thank you for your continued support i appreciate it more than you know so smooches and I'll see you guys on the next video bye so you see those prints those colors and then up above you're going to see our pictures that are on the wall behind the couch which are some zebras and this black tiger Bruh. my um for watching today i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the mdd family like and share this video with your friends your family your associates and i'll see you guys on the next video bye